Hello lovely people and welcome to my investing channel. In this upload we are talking about Aviva shares and we'll decide together if it's still a bargain and undervalued share. All this in a short video under 3 minutes. Aviva PLC is a British multinational insurance company headquartered in London, United Kingdom. The company has more than 30 million customers across 16 countries and has operations in Europe, Asia and North America. Aviva is a solid company with a market cap of more than £10 billion. This makes it the second largest insurer in Britain and a leading life and pensions provider. In the recent years, Aviva has struggled and its share price has been stuck around the same price range since 2014. The company started the year at 420 pence and since then the stock has fallen to levels only seen in 2009 and is currently down 25% from the beginning of the year. At the current moment, Aviva, like any other UK-based company, faces two main problems – the current global situation and the Brexit situation. Both of them create uncertainty and we all know that the stock market doesn't like uncertainty. Moving now from the negatives to positives, we'll explain why we consider Aviva shares undervalued. Value investing is clearly one of the most preferred ways to find strong stocks in any type of market. Value investors rely on traditional forms of analysis, on key valuation metrics to find stocks that they believe undervalued. Aviva currently holds a PE ratio of 4.5, comparing it to its industry average of 7.5. Another important valuation for Aviva is its price per booking ratio of 0.54. We use the price per booking ratio to look at stocks market value versus its book value which is defined as total assets minus total liabilities. Aviva's current price per booking ratio looks attractive when compared to its industry average of 1.32. These two important valuations show that Aviva is more than likely undervalued and also considering the strength of its earnings, the company feels like a great value stock also. From our point of view, Aviva operates in an industry that will allow it to get governments back up if needed and it's more than likely to see the share price rebound to the 400 pence price levels within the next year. Please remember that investing for a long term will reduce the odds of losing money in the stock market and also will bring you the best returns possible. If you found this information useful and wish to see more content, please make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Disclaimer: I am not a financial advisor. If you seek financial advice, please see a licensed professional.